Starting with station 60, we've got our 10 exercises. Exercise one is cross body jacks. So you're gonna cross right over left, left over right, and your arms are also moving in front of you again, right over left and left over right. Exercise two is gonna be weighted step ups. So if you have a bench at home or steps, grab some dumbbells, a dumbbell in each hand. You're gonna step up with whatever leaf foot you wanna start with, and then halfway through, listen for Katie, because I'm gonna be off the camera. She's gonna tell you to switch, so then go to the other leg. If you don't have steps or anything like that at home, you can do lunges or you can just squat for that minute. Completely up to you, but I want them to be weighted so we make those quads do some work. Third one is gonna be a two pulse reverse lunge. So you're gonna step it back, one, two, step in and switch. This one we will alternate throughout those. And then we have a standing dumbbell chest press. Just one dumbbell in your hand here, nice quarter squat, and then we're pressing out. That's all we're doing. So hold that dumbbell horizontally. And then we're gonna move on to single, single, double upright rows. What I mean by that, so we have a dumbbell in each hand, so single, single, double, and then you're right back into those singles. And then we go into single, single, double bicep curls. So same thing, one arm at a time, and then both. And then you're gonna set those weights down. We're gonna go find a wall, and we're gonna do wall sits. When you're at that wall, I don't want you to be leaning forward like this. You need to get down low, push that back and butt against the wall, and hold it there. If you want to challenge yourself and hold a weight against your lap, you definitely can. Otherwise, you don't need one. And then we're back to single, single, double for triceps. So we're going to hinge just a little bit, a dumbbell in each hand. So single, single, and then double. And then back to those singles. And then we'll end with core. We'll go down to the ground for a knee tuck crunch. So we're going to lean back on our forearms. And just as the name implies, crunching by tucking those knees into the chest. And then we're gonna end in a sit-up position with punches. So you're gonna lean back in that sit-up position as if we just did a sit-up. And you're going to go cross body, right punches to the left and left punches to the right. So those are our 10 exercises. We'll go through those one minute each. You've got 10 seconds in between each exercise. Oh, cannot talk. <laughs> in between each exercise to get ready for the next one. And then like always, we'll take a break after the 10 exercises and move on to the next round. Round one of station 60, cross body jacks. Three, two, one, begin. Weights optional. And 
step it back, just two pulses, and then return. Remember, we alternate for this one. Good job. Get that back knee down. Try and stay nice and upright. Torso up tall, shoulders back. Good job. 10 seconds left. And then you just need that one dumbbell for that standing chest press. We're in that quarter squat position for that. Very good. Be right about shoulder width. Sit back in those heels. You've got to keep all the weight in the back of those heels, especially when you press that weight forward. Drop it low. Press. Whenever you need a break, I just want you to stand up, roll those shoulders back, and then right back into it. If you need to squat every time, and press, you can. Otherwise, challenge yourself and hold. It's a great front of the shoulder exercise. Working that chest, of course, but also the front of the shoulders. Halfway. Try to keep those arms tucked in nice and tight. So when you pull those elbows back, they skim that shirt. Keep all the way in the back of those heels. Don't creep forward. 10 seconds left. And then you need a dumbbell in each hand for upright rows. Three. Very good. Do you want these? No. I know my limits. <laughs> if there was not a minute, then yeah. <laughs> But it is a minute. So Gotta pace yourself for that? No, thank you. <laughs> Upright rows. Ready? Single, single, double. Good. Keep it going. We just did our first. <laughs> Some back to back shoulder business here. It's perfect. Shoulders and legs, my favorite. They call this fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> Jive you guys halfway and then we keep this same single single double next through with the bicep curls so you all have time to change weights if you need to otherwise you can drop those weights and shake out the hands and keep the same weight last 10 Very good. 15 seconds left. Right after the bicep curls, we go into that wall set. So remember that wall set optional. If you want to have weights, you can. But it's great for biceps. Keep those arms tucked in nice and tight. Allow those arms to extend all the way down. Job halfway, and then those arms get a nice, well deserved break. Last 10. Job, keep that good form, keep the arms tucked in tight. Very good. Time for wall sits. Go find that space. Remember, we're lowering down and we're keeping that back against the wall the entire time, okay? Some toys in my way. <laughs> Three, two, 
One. Keep those shoulders back. There's a nice kind of 90 degree angle with those legs. If you're holding that weight, you can just rest it right in your lap. If you want to really challenge yourself and hold it straight out, you go for it. Massage my legs. <laughs> Massage your legs with that weight in your lap. Oh, yeah. Try and spread those toes apart. Equally distribute that weight throughout those feet. It's going to be more in those heels than anything, but that's all right. That's where we want it. 25 seconds left. Whatever you do, how I said earlier, don't lean. I don't want that. Keep it against the wall the entire time. Less than 10 left. And we work on those triceps. Back to that single, single, double in four, three, two, one. Good job. Remember, we are hinged over for this one and pull those arms up and then extend that arm back, okay? Here we go, bend the knees. Single, single, double. In between, you can always lower those arms down, but when you're doing that kickback, those arms are up, elbows are bent back. seconds left and then it's all core to end it out then we get that first break last three very good take it down to the ground your mat whatever you got first one is that knee tuck crunch so we lean back on those forearms Legs are extended straight out and then pull knees into the chest and then extend them right back out. Here we go. So we're leaned back in that C-sit, and then right punches to the left, left punches to the right. All about the arms. Hold it back, and go. They don't need to be forceful punches, just something to twist that torso and work on those obliques while we're contracting that core, holding this position. Pulling that belly button in tight. Keep leaning back, don't slowly come forward, okay? It's like your body can't finish that sit up. I want you right in the middle of it. Halfway. Job last 15. Sure it's starting to burn, keep holding it. Very good. First break, pause the video, grab some water, we'll get ready for round two. Round two, back to those crossbody jacks. We'll go in three, two, one. Jump it out. Yeah. 
from Katie. Get that back knee down, torso upright, shoulders back. Try not to lean into it. What I mean by that, don't hinge at those hips. So you're looking down towards the ground. You want to keep looking forward. That keeps those shoulders back. Last three. Very good. Standing dumbbell chest press. Hold that dumbbell horizontally. Remember, if you need a squat in between each one, if you can't hold the squat, that's fine. All the way in the back of those heels. Sit low, let's go. straight back, pulling that weight right to the chest, halfway, Seconds left. Very good. On those uprights, single, single, double. We're pulling right into a clavicle, okay? Elbows get bent straight out to the side. Weight stay in front. Curls are next. So you'll have time to shake out those arms. Again, single, single, double. Next, 
keep those arms nice and tucked in tight. Extend those arms all the way down. So what I mean by that is when you release that curl, don't stop here. Let it go all the way down. Here we go. Good, nice and slow on that release. Don't let the weight pull you down. Halfway. Seconds left, finish it out, even it out. Very good. Go find that wall space for that wall sit. Yeah, you messed up my area. Sorry. Go in three. Drop down, hold it. Spread those toes apart. Distribute that weight. If you press more of your weight into your toes, that's going to work your calves. If it's all in your heels, you're working those quads. Just remember back of your foot, front of your legs. Front of your feet, work in the back of your legs and those calves. Only 15 seconds left, flying by. Plus three. Very good. Tricep kickbacks are next. Single, single, double. Remember, you can lower those arms when you need to, but when you're doing the kickback, that arm needs to be up here. So you can extend that arm back. Here we go. Already over halfway. Keep pushing those hips back. We want to be in that semi flat back. Hinging at those hips, bending those knees for stability. Last five. seconds left. Good job. Job. Five seconds left. Come on. Don't give up. Hold sit up and punch. 
Remember, we're punching crossbody. We're right in that mid position of that full sit up. Don't let yourself fall backwards and don't let yourself creep all the way up to the finish of that sit up, okay? Lean it back. Here we go. If it's uncomfortable for you to punch, you want to reach instead to open up those fingers. That's fine. Twist that torso with that punch. Good job. Halfway. Last 10. So close to that break. Come on. You deserve it, so work hard for it. Last three. Woo. Very good. Pause it. Go grab water. Let's start round three. Back to those cross body jacks. We'll go in five. And go. Pulsing reverse lunge. Weights are optional. My fingers will fall off if I hold those 20. <laughs> chest press with that one dumbbell. Optional to squat in between or hold it. 
Either way, the weight goes in the back of those heels every time. Support that lower back. Here we go. Try to stabilize yourself, especially when you push that weight forward and pull it back. Your body's not going with you. Stay nice and steady. We're halfway. Last 15. Almost done working those shoulders. Just keep going. playing with her son's toys. Yeah. She's a cheater. <laughs> when you hear me <laughs> getting that pet in, right? <laughs> they have a lot of cool things. I have a lot of cool toys. I play with them sometimes too. <laughs> a lot of grandma purchases. <laughs> seconds left. You guys just try that halfway. Keep that good form. Shoulders back, look forward. Press that head against the wall so you don't have that urge to lean forward or hinge at those hips. Shouldn't have our elbows on our knees. We're not whatever that statue is. What's that? It's called the thinker. The thinker. <laughs> Unless you have really long arms. <laughs> True. Then, Look at that, you're done. Talk about nonsense and it goes by faster. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy how that works. 
on the triceps. Remember, you can lower those arms in between each one, but they gotta be up for the kickback. Let's go. whenever you need them. And then that whole set up and punch. Let's go. Try to extend that body all the way and then pull those knees in with some force. Twenty seconds left, you're doing great. Take a break if you need it, otherwise keep pushing through. Last ten. Come on, I'm right there with you. Now it burns, those legs are on fire, core's on fire. Last three. Woo! Hold, set up and punch, finish strong. Slightly rotating that torso as we punch, work those obliques. Heels down, lean it back, let's go. seconds down. Keep leaning back on those sit bones. Don't sit all the way up. You want to feel that pull in that core. Pull that belly button in tight. You know that core is burning, especially after those knee tucks, but you can do it. Keep leaning back. Last 10. Three. Uh, Woo. Uh, Very good. Pause the video, grab some water. We'll get ready for our last round, round four. All right, finish it out strong. Cross body jacks. Three, two, one. Let's go.
Three, two, and go. in between each press out. Sink lower. Less than ten left. Move it on to uprights next. seconds left. Keep that good form. Pull that weight up to the correct spot right at that clavicle. Nothing higher, nothing lower. Make those shoulders work. We're working the middle of the shoulder with these. Here we go, last three. Very good. Shake those arms out. Get ready for biceps. Halfway. Halfway through round four. We're almost there. 
Stick with it. Here we go. Curl up. Seconds left. Even out those arms. Three, two, one. Good job. Time for that wall sit. One more round of golf. <laughs> <laughs> Use this time to think about all the funner and greater things there are in life than sitting on a wall. All the things that make you smile, because I know this doesn't. We could have another art history <laughs> session. <laughs> oh, good. I could think of other sculptures and other sculpture. I can figure that out. Less than 30 seconds left. The last one. I know we're getting tired. Those legs are sore, but stick with it. Push through, because you are almost done. Get through this, and then I just need three more minutes of work from you. That's it. Last ten. Shoot. Last three. Uh, Ooh, good job. Nope, can't walk now. <laughs> Try set time. Get those legs a break. Single, single, double, you know the drill. Here we go. Begin. seconds left. That's it. Good job. Here we go. Last two. All about that core. Knee tuck crunch. You can do this. Push through that entire minute. Come on. You got it. Job halfway, you can do this, let's go. You don't have to rest each one, take your time in between each rep. Last 10, come on, I'm right there with you. I know it hurts, let's go. This is it. Last 60 seconds of work I need you to do today. 
Like my work. You might have like work work, but my work. Uh, Here we go. Job. Keep leaning back. Don't creep forward. Halfway. Job. Last 20. Keep leaning back. Keep punching cross body or reaching. Remember, you always have that option. Just don't let that body sink any lower or any farther forward. You can do this. Last five. Very good. Good job today. Go fuel up, drink some water, and have a good day.